First team duel of the season for Gardner-Webb Wrestling. They take on App State, lose the decision 40-9 in the team duel. But, Coach, let's talk about this right here. A kid who's added to your roster today, one day worth of wrestling. You hadn't wrestled at 133 nearly all year, forfeited nearly every match, and this kid comes out and gets a pin in 37 seconds. How does that happen? I don't know. Um, you know, we, we knew we, we Trayvon Majette just transferred in from Old Dominion, and we knew it was coming, and he got in January 2nd, but school was closed, and we couldn't get things done, and so he actually just got through all of his paperwork and everything, started practicing with us two days ago, and um, our plan was not to wrestle him, and he, he wanted to go, and he went out and stuck uh, stuck a pretty good kid in the first period, and so that, that was an awesome moment for him and us, and he'll remember that forever. And, and you know, I, it was against my better judgment. I didn't want to do it, and he talked me into it, and, yeah, it was a good good story for him. Well, sometimes the coaches are wrong, right? Once, once in a blue moon. Right, not very often, not very often. Well, looking at good, this matchup, a lot of these guys wrestled against some of these App State kids just a week ago at the scuffle. What was the message to some of those kids in particular, knowing that they had seen a kid before on the mat and making sure they don't over-adjust? You know, I think it's easy to get inside your head and do that, you know, overcoach some guys. and, and But then sometimes when you win, you just think it's, you know, it's not going to be that, that tough again. And, you know, we... Taylor Parks lost, got pinned by a kid. He lost two by three a few weeks ago. Rod Davis lost to a kid who he beat last last week too. And so we know we're good enough to compete better than these guys than we did tonight. And that's that's the frustrating part. And you know we wrestled nine matches. We got hit for stalling eight times or eight eight of our matches and gave up stall calls. And that's that's the letdown that we got to be sure. That's the effort right there that we've got to coach through that a little bit better. And you know that that's sort of the letdown there of of we lost worse to guys that we know we can compete with and we lost to a guy that we've beaten before so uh, we just gotta not let it get caught up too much and just just work through that and just wrestle sometimes and lastly first team duel in the socon what adjustments have to be made before the next match you know we we turn around russell chattanooga on sunday and they're a, a a good team well coached just like app was and and you know we just gotta find some 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 grit some fire on in a hurry and and that's hard to do and and we got to just change our mentality a little bit and go out and just just wrestle harder and you know that, that's that's where we are we we need that effort you know if we see that effort if you lose you lose if if we don't see that effort and you you do get hit for stalling and get shoved around a little bit you know that's where we're going to have to try to light a fire on a few of our guys so well a young team for coach Elliot heads to Chattanooga on Sunday. For more information about him and his squad, check out GWSports.com.